Hey guys, it's Climate again, and today I'm doing <coughs> doing the next episode in the zombie shooter series, which is going to be the player controls. And today we're going to cover the one player controls. So basically, what I've set up here is the sensitivity, and I've just placed rotators on this with different speeds. So this is 320, 330, 40, all the way up to 410. So I'm just going to show you how to make it so that this will control the player. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go down and get an anti-gravity trigger and just place it in some corner and put the anti-gravity 100 dampening 40 and 0 0.C 40 and then just place it there ok the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place a camera angle so that your player can actually see what's happening so you get a camera and just make the zone doesn't matter Ugh the camera angle okay it's not letting me change it it's glitching so transition time zero hold time unlimited disable controllers no okay I haven't placed it yet that's why I didn't know that you had to place it before you could change the camera angle so now we can change the camera angle I think yeah there we go so for me, I think that the camera angle is best at like, you know, like 46 for me is good. But you're, you're different, so do whatever you want. Then just hook up the controlinator here to um, move the camera. And you're going to want to place a controlinator here, and you're going to make it so that it's a receiver. And I use blue because that's the first color. And then there's a transmitter up here that is um, blue as well. So. As soon as you pop out, you'll be in this transmitter. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do for one player controls is you're going to want to get advanced rotators with the rotation speed 360 is good. Um, acceleration 100, deceleration 100, input action on off. And then what you want to do is you want to get um, what you're going to use to turn. In this case, it's going to be left and right on the control in on the controlinator stick. So just hook that up to rotation speed on all of them. So just hook those up. And then what you're going to want to do is after you have the turning ready, you're going to want to make it so that they can move. So you're going to go and you're going to get an advanced mover. So we're going to get an advanced mover. And I'm just going to place it right here. And on the advanced mover, you're going to want to put controlinator left and right on left right speed and up down on up down speed so that it go, moves around. And um, for one player, it should be like 6 or 7, uh, 100 and 100. Um, and local space, yes, as well as this camera should be local space. So now that they're on local space, uh, I guess it should work, and that's just the player controls. Actually, today we'll be able to cover two players as well. So we'll do both of those controls, and then we'll do zombie and player interactions next time. So just click start, and then we'll automatically close it in here. Then move around, turn. These are my special controls. So that works. We could also change the sensitivity if we wanted to, but that's okay. Um, now what we're going to do, it's actually before that, um, I want to make it so that, let's see where is it, here, I want to make it so that um, this one is here, is that 2, this one will be at 1 because I want it so that the current game mode starting here is an arena it's normal but that you don't even care about that really that's just my stuff so now the two player controls I'm just gonna copy this because it's basically basic design oops grab the camera so I'm just gonna copy this and I'll show you what you have to do different for two player so let's just get this back up oh so then you're gonna want to make the camera angle over here like the whole map camera angle local space no advanced move you're going to turn off local space and uh, we're going to delete all the sensitivity because two players won't have sensitivity on it 
because um, you can't change the sensitivity. It wouldn't work. Then what you're going to do is you're going to make this receivable be pink because on two player it has different frequencies because it's a different control scheme. And what we're going to do is we can keep the advanced mover, just take off um, take off local space and you're going to want to get a joystick rotator and just place it under and you're just going to want to place this up and get left and right on, I mean up and down and left and right on the control rotator for this one and put it into left right speed and up down to up down speed and the speed should be 1500 acceleration 100 and um, should just yeah that's good um, and so um, you can make the camera go kind of follow it I guess but uh, for two player you're gonna want the camera angle to be in between it um, and I'll show you how to do that in the next episode so um, if I was doing two player which I will um, I'll just I'll show you what I'm gonna do so to show you that two player is different from one player I'm gonna go delete the one player and change the frequency and I'll undo this when you're gone because I actually need the one player there so I'm just gonna change this frequency to blue and I'll show you that um I'll show you that it'll be different because one player and two player are different controls so I'll just click start yeah see it's different controls and I forgot to hook up the shoot button so I'll do that so those have different controls Okay, so now we're going to hook up the shoot button, which is pretty easy, basically, on both. So what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to have this emitter that I already have. I should have to move it over here. And then you're going to want to get a bullet that you've saved and put a tag on it. And in this case, the tag is bullet. So that's why I named it bullet. And then just put a tag on it for the zombie interactions. And then get a timer see timer uh, wait one sec let me just show you the emitter options first so the emitter options the linear velocity is how fast it comes out that should be 50 input action on off frequency is 3 seconds and lifetime should be second, 7 seconds this is like my personal things you can change these if you want max emitted 10 recycle oldest that is um a good because then it'll hit where they want it to hit before um before the um, thing disappears, before the bullet disappears. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a timer, and we're gonna make the timer three seconds because that's how long it takes to shoot. And uh, we're gonna make it so that it's one length, just because we want it to be small. And we're just gonna hook it up to reset itself. And we're gonna hook up R1 just to um, start it. So. And we're going to hook up R1 to the emitter as well. Now we're just going to get a sound effect from our sound effects. So let's go get a sound effect. We're going to do retro. This is a good one in retro. So we're going to do laser fire. Laser fire 2. Because it's going to be shooting electricity. And I think it's just a good one. So. Now you know one player and two player, and this is one player with sensitivity and controls on this. There's not much to the controls actually. It's just this much stuff here. It's not much on it. So controls aren't very hard. That's one of the easy things that you can do. Um, so that's pretty easy. The controls are pretty easy. Oh yeah, I forgot to hook up shoot for the other one. So um, I'm just gonna hook up shoot to the two player. And I'll do a bit of like working when you're gone. I hope you don't mind that because I need to work on the level. I haven't published it. I'm kind of doing tutorials while I make the level. So when I'm like done the level, I'll make a video of how awesome it is and how you'd never be able to make a level just as good. But yeah. That's right. No, I'm just kidding. Um, if I'm showing you how to make it, then you can probably make it just as good as me. So, uh, yeah.
just hook that up to there. And I'm just going to see how, um, if it shoots or not. And that's basically it for this episode. Short episode. That's a pretty short episode. I don't know how, but last time when I tried to do this episode, see it shoots. Oh yeah, one last thing. Last time when I tried to do this episode, I completely failed, and it somehow went over 15 minutes, and I didn't even get to the second player control, somehow. Like, I don't even know how I did that, so... I'm actually gonna make it, um, 1.5 seconds to shoot, just because I thought that 3 seconds was too slow, so... Position sound, no. That way you can hear it from where you are. And I'm gonna make this 1.5 as well. So let's see how that goes. Um, one last thing, uh, I'm not going to shoot it out that far because then you won't be able to see it come out. Um, you want the, um, the, you don't have to do this, but I think that expand is um, the best way to show a bullet coming out of the gun because when you're just doing linear velocity, you'll probably, like the first time, you'll, the first frame you'll be able to see it's over here, but when you do expand, you'll be able to see it closer. So. That's another good thing. But in real life, you can't even see bullets. But you should be able to in the planet. So there. Controls. I still think that's a little slow, but I'll fix it when you're not here. So just do whatever you want. And we'll be doing zombie player interactions. And then after that, We'll be doing some uh, what? We'll be doing some zombie intelligence because zombies need intelligence to navigate to a map. Yeah. So, it's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed because it's kind of hard to do these videos, and also I don't make any sense. So, I hope you kind of make sense of it. Um, yeah. So, I guess see you soon, maybe. Like, see you later in the next episode. I guess you should subscribe if you want to see the next episode. Yeah. Okay, well, bye then. See you, um, next time.